Samuel Higgs, as I live and breathe. Has it really been over two years? Regardless, I'm so glad you finally made it. It's good to see you. What kept you? I spend all day doing nothing. I don't even count days. They just blur together. Nick's death barely hit me. It was like a pinprick compared to just everything. I get it. I just... You... You're still you, huh? You'll always still be you, Sam. I hope you never change, but I can't handle this right now. Listen, I, uh... I wanted to talk to you about what happened to Dad. It doesn't make sense. He wouldn't have just crashed. He drove like a grandma, you know that. It's... wrong. I don't buy it. She's a little girl who lost her father. She's confused right now. Don't you go encouraging her, or worse, putting those thoughts in her head? Poor Joan, losing her father at such a young age. Oh, what a tragedy. I was trying to find one of those games she likes so much to cheer her up. Now I know you've been through hell and back. I know that. If there's anything the Basswood Police Department can do for you, or even just little old me, you give me a holler, all right? So, Nick wasn't drunk, and me? I was drunk as a skunk. Yeah, he'd been coming in a lot lately. Sat right there, with a bad dad joke or two. <laughs> poor, poor Sam. Now that Nick is gone, everyone in town hates you. I mean, I don't. Why would I? It's not my job you destroyed. You're not the cause of all my problems. I mean, that's what you did for pretty much all of Basswood, but not to me. So, I don't hate you. Hey man, thought I knew everyone, but I don't know you. Oh right, you're one of those who skipped town when the mine closed down. Town ain't changed much since then. Same old boring basswood. I know most people hate that, but I don't. It's quiet here. It's nice. You managed to leave and still came back? You'd never see me again if I left. I can barely get by, like everyone else here. Too poor to stay, too poor to leave. Tell me now, Sam. You tell me if my little girl is in danger. I can't watch over her anymore, so I need you to keep her safe. Promise me you'll protect her. I need your word. I feel so selfish keeping you away from everyone. I'm sure Anna is waiting for you. You have a good day. N no. You have a good life, young man. Look, Anna's a friend. She spent some time down here with us to do that interview told my story, did good by me, by us. I only know you by reputation, and what I know I don't like. You don't get to just gallivant around here I have you damn well please. So back the hell off, or I will fuck you up. And creating something out of nothing and then turning it into something else? That's as close to real magic as we can get. So, are you gonna tell me what you're here for? I found there were souls in need of help after the mine closed. The world is a cruel place. We all need a touch of kindness in our lives. I didn't know what was gonna happen, man, I swear. I'm a nobody, all right? I'm just a guy trying to get by, that's all. I just want to take care of my moms and live life, man. And I've been trying to find a way out all my life. You think you know who Nick was, Mr. Perfect? Give me a break. You have no idea. No one in this town does. Everybody's happy to shake my hand and say how grateful they are. But as soon as you turn around, they'll stab you in the back. Eventually, I realize that's how people are. The only thing left is to adapt. The mine closing wasn't your fault. Your investigation just hurried things up. You'll probably save some lives, you know. Just remember I'm here, right? 